what's up guys it's louis lope this is what up wednesday today we're outside the high performance training center here in oceanside we are going to be meeting up with my boy marco el lobito sustaita so yeah follow me since I was 19, so now I got 10 wins, eight knockouts, one loss and one draw, but we're doing good, so, you know, there's good things to come, and hopefully next year you can catch me on TV, so. Hell yeah, man, so I just saw that you recently just won another title, man. How, how do you feel about that? How... Yeah, this last fight was tough. I had to fight an undefeated fighter. He was 80 no and, uh, you know, he, he Put up a good fight but he couldn't hang with the power shots and i had to put him down so i feel real good real confident uh, i trained a uh, hundred percent for this fight so i mean i felt a hundred percent so uh, my last fight before that was a draw and i mean uh my crowd clearly saw we won other people saw we won and i mean you know i came out hungrier for this fight so oh, yeah. that's what it is that's what it takes so, uh, how did you get into boxing, man? What, what motivated you to do uh, Well, I mean, I've always liked fighting as a kid, but uh, one of my buddies, he, he introduced me to, to this trainer, you know, my coach, Dono, Dono Cisneros, and, you know, I've been with him and his son, which is my manager, Nieves Cisneros, and we've just been working, man, ever since I was a teenager, and, you know, it's just something I've always wanted to do. I was named after a... A, a legend fighter, which is Marco Antonio Barrera. My name is Marco Antonio Susaita. So, uh, I mean, I, it was just destined to happen, you know. My my dad gave me that name for a reason. So, yeah. How did you How did you get the nickname of Lobito? Uh, well, I got it from another pro that was training with us. His name is Jesse Lopez, and uh, uh, I'm a real hairy guy. So he looked <laughs> He looked at me. He's like, you kind of look like a like a wolf, you know, like a Lobito. So. Lobito's a, a wolf, like a small wolf, so the name stuck, and ever since, you know, just been Lobito. So. And that's awesome, especially, you know, he was, was christened by another, you know. Yeah. So that's, that's always good. Cool. So what would you say, like, where, where, where does it, where's your influence? What influences you in boxing? Like, who was your idol or, you know, you saw growing up? Uh, the most important coach. Yeah, we just, uh, uh, I don't know, it was just like a, something that, like I said, I've always wanted to do and it just motivates me that, you know, people look up to me, so it's like, you know, it, it feel, it's a good feeling, so. Oh yeah, man, that, that's good, that's good. Um, shit, man, so when are we, when is the next fight? I don't have a, a fight schedule right now, uh, we're just waiting on the date, uh, looking for another tough opponent and we'll see what comes. Right now, you know, we're just going to continue to work and see what happens, what doors open up for us. So, like I said, just keep, keep working. Yeah, man. Uh, 
So how are you able to balance your boxing life with your regular and you know, training life? Have you, have you had a problem with that? Nah, it's just a, you know, it's like a, it's like my main job right now, you know. I, I work, but I mean, I always make time for boxing because I have to. Like I said, it's my, it's my, my primary job. Yeah, know? yeah. You know, I always come first. You know what you love doing. Yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah, man. That's that's it for now, man. I hope we didn't take up too much of your time. Nah, no, thank you for this interview, yeah, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. This is what up Wednesday. This is El Lobito. We love. We're out, man. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? This is the second part to the Lobito interview. So right now we have him training over here. So we're just gonna give you a quick glimpse of what he does, how he gets set up, and everything. So nothing new.